Hi everyone and welcome back to my devlog. If you're new here, I post weekly videos logging the progress of the new third person looter shooter mobile game I'm developing called Nest, so consider subscribing to follow along. Before I get into this week's devlog, I want you to pause this video and go follow me on Twitter. I'll be tweeting if anything important comes up, as well as posting short teaser clips of the game's progress throughout each week. I mean, who'd want to miss out on this? They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Something else you need to check out is the newly created Discord server. Thanks so much to everyone for showing your interest in the previous devlog. In an attempt to be different and stand out from the many servers already out there, I'll be hosting weekly challenges where you'll be able to win in-game prizes prior to the actual release of the game. There are also, of course, channels for all your questions, suggestions and bug reports relating to the game. Now, let's get into what progress I made on the game this week. Like I said in the last devlog, I spent the first part of the week doing some spring cleaning. So, nothing really too exciting to talk about there. I fixed a couple of bugs here and there, organized my project files and tidied up some code because it was starting to look a lot like spaghetti. With all that under control, I got to work on something that was concerning me, the movement system. Even though I had put quite a few systems in place in order to deal with this unique gameplay mechanic, it still felt very limiting in some cases. In most mobile shooter games, the player drags their finger along the screen in order to look around. This however means that buttons must be used for other actions such as jumping, crouching, rolling etc. And this can sometimes tend to overcrowd the screen. In Nest, the player always faces towards the central nest by default and then uses the aiming joystick to look around. This means that swipe gestures can be used for the different actions. The player swipes up to jump, swipes down to crouch, and swipes left or right, or down while running, to roll. This however isn't necessary in a lot of situations, and so I added the option to toggle fixed movement on or off. Next up. I wanted to work on the level design. In the previous devlog, I spoke about how I was planning on making each level. I then however came across Polaris, a low poly terrain engine for sale on the Unity Asset Store. After taking a look at their evaluation copy of the plugin, I figured it was worth the money and so I took advantage of the Black Friday sale and bought it. Now let's go through my finalized process for designing levels. First of all, I make the standalone crater by importing the Barrington Crater's height map into Blender. I then create the landscape separately and then import the crater, placing it on top of the landscape using the shrink wrap modifier. Next, I export this as an FBX and import it into Unity. I can now use the Object to Terrain script to convert this into a Unity Terrain object. I then export the Terrain object's raw data and import it into Polaris. Now, with the landscape in place, I can finally start painting foliage on top. Because of the Black Friday sale, I was drawn in to looking for more assets I could save on. I realized then that I was still in need of 8-way directional rolling animations. After looking around though, the only set available was on the Unreal Marketplace. Surprisingly, I found out after a bit of googling that these animations aren't restricted to only being used in the Unreal Engine at all. So I downloaded the Unreal Engine, imported them into my project, exported them as FX files, and then added them into my Unity project. Of course it didn't really work out as smoothly as that, 
but that was the overall process. Lastly, I finished adding the rest of the special attacks to each of the different aliens and worked a bit more on their AI. But that's going to do it for this week. If you enjoyed or learned something, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe to follow along on the development of this game. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Take care.